thank you very much for being here. Uh, we'll be quick and try to make this uh, painless. So, uh, most of you have heard of uh, our initiative, the Latin American Caribbean Anti-Abusing Working Group, uh, the LAC AAWG. And uh, this is an initiative that is started in the beginning of this year and was in February of 2017. So uh, it was an initiative that started in, in a, as a cooperation with uh, LACNOG, MOG, and LACNIC uh, so that we can uh, create a convening forum uh, for operators and the anti-abuse community uh, to produce, uh, uh, to create, create a, a place that we can uh, talk about our issues in security and abuse and uh, develop the best uh, current operational practices so we can deal with this stuff in our region, dealing with our, our needs and also seeing the global uh, scenario. So this is a cooperation. And um, we have seen uh, some problems in our region and uh, I would like to point out this thing uh, we, at ZBR, we have, uh, we have uh, completed uh, 20 years this year, and so we made a retrospective of uh, some stuff in security area. And so you can see here, this is an advisory from March 1990. So it's more than 20 years ago, it was revised in 1997, so like 20, year, 20 years ago. And uh, it puts uh, some warning and security problems on the VMS system, so VMS attacks, and because of why? Because of uh, default passwords that cannot be changed, that has, has not been changed this in installation. So this is a problem that it's happening for more than 20 years, and we continue repeating the same mistakes in the, since to, until today in all the things. We are seeing this in the devices, we are seeing this in routers, we are seeing this in CPEs, and uh, we need to stop this kind of, uh, of thing because they are producing damage in our networks. CPE routers devices with the full password that are not changed when they are put in place to start working, they are abused by criminals that generate a lot of attacks. So we see that this is a problem and um, what we, we wanted to do now, one of the ideas we, we wanted to, to take in place is create a, Possibly two big ops. This is the first two that we have uh, in mind for now. So one is security requirements for CPE acquisitions. Uh, so the idea is establishing a minimum require requirements for security. When uh, your purchase in the apartment goes through a vendor uh, and you can request the things that you need uh, that vendor to provide in their product. Uh, I think that many of you may remind that we had something like this when uh, we started deploying IPv6. So most of the devices, the vendors, didn't have IPv6 in their, in their uh, equipment. So we had to produce a big copy that establishes this minimum requirement for IPv6. So here the idea is basically the same. So we can develop uh, the minimum requirements in security for the CPE devices. And after that, another big up that we think that's necessary and um, what we are going to do that it may probably in phases is the security requirements for CPE management. So uh, we also see that there are, um, there are uh, operators, there are network operators that has no management over their devices. Once they deploy the device at the user home, uh, there is no way they can produce patches, they can install patches, I'm sorry. And uh, so what are the minimum requirements that they are needed for, to manage their, their devices at the home, the home user? Um, so these are two problems that we see that are generating a lot of 
uh, security issues, attacks, and this kind of stuff. And it's not only damaging the internet as a whole, it's damaging your business. I have colleagues here that came to me and reported uh, some, um, some uh, issues that uh, in 10 minutes that they installed the device at the home user, the device is compromised and it is generating attack. And it's consuming the whole band, the whole, the, the whole uh, uh, broadband. So the device, the, the, the network is being flooded and it's not working properly. So uh, what we need, we need people to contribute in content, to contribute in uh, editing and being a reviewer for these pickups. And uh, you can get in touch with me or Christian. This is our, our email. And I'm open to, to comments and that you may uh, have to, to me now. And comments or questions, whatever you want to please take the microphone. Comentarios, preguntas para Lucy. Lucy evitó el trueno exitosamente. Comentarios. No questions? Nope, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lucimara.